Well, I guess it's time to update my video. I've added a few more items to my room. Uh, here we are in the hallway with my Ricky Williams bobblehead, stadium chairs, lamp, and then here's here's my dolphin room and other jerseys. Uh, here's a plate of Dan Marino the hunt that was in locker room sports. Pretty heavy, pretty cool also. Up here, I got Ricky Williams' black Ravens jersey, the number one jersey that the Saints gave him on stage, and then his white Saints rookie jersey uh, with a letter of authenticity from the Saints, and then all miscellaneous gloves, ball, pants. Uh, here's a Heisman Trophy that uh, someone who worked for the company uh, made. Uh, pretty cool. It's not bronze, but it's it's as close as can be. He had all the specs. Up here is Ricky's Ravens jersey, his purple one, photo matched. His Ravens helmet that he that he wore his last season with the Ravens. He gained his 10,000th yard in it, all photo matched. His Toronto jersey. <clears throat> this was the jersey that that he had uh, in the last game. That he played and uh must have thrown it in his bag and just left and it was in a locker down in miami that his agent didn't pay for and there was a number of items that uh, i was able to get out of there and here this is his helmet that he gained his 1800 yard in autographed game used ball uh, here's a team issued jersey uh throwback i forget what year early 2000s, I believe. Game worn aqua jersey, NFL auctions, game worn white jersey. Uh, here's a backup jersey that came out of the same locker. Um, then his gloves, uh, shirts, uh, face mask, game worn. Then down here, I've got his, his uh, practice jersey from NFL auctions, his Pro Bowl uniform, which is pretty cool. Autographed ball by everybody on in that Pro Bowl. And then his baseball jersey when he was with uh, the Bow Weevils. Uh, huge jersey. I think it was the Phillies that someone, they bought all the jerseys and this was one of them. And then down here is a bat, one of Ricky's baseball bats from that time. Not used though. And then here, New England Patriots helmet uniform and then here of course the 1966 uh pennant a ball boy parka game equipment bag equipment bag uh dolphins cape and then the new helmet here's a banner hung at one of the super bowls i can't see i forget which one it was And then in here, I have, whoop. up here is the Colts, uh, early 60s jersey, Maxwell, 1983, Mitchell, early 70s, or yeah, early 70s, Colts helmet, um, Mike Montgomery, early 70s, Cowboys, suspension helmet, Jerseys in the back, no big deal. Newer jerseys, just to fill in, just for display. Uh, Macaulay, great Doreen jersey, early 70s. Early 60s white jersey. And then down here, let me take a longer view. Jason Taylor, Brzezinski, Zach Thomas, their jerseys. Um, all used, this is Jason Taylor's game-worn jersey, or game-worn helmet, rather. Zach's helmet, I think when he broke his jaw, he had to have this special piece. They had to have the helmet made for him. Tons of dolphin jerseys. Pants, a pylon from the Eagles-Dolphins game. And then over here. Uh, this one is Lloyd Mumford's helmet, early 70s. Uh, Pete Johnson, 
when he played for us. The old Bengals uh, running back. And then here's another Ricky Williams jersey, the white one. Autographed hat that he wore on the sidelines. And then here's a big banner that hung in uh, Joe Robbie. I draped it over the whole display case. And then over here, Don Strock, Dwight Stevenson, Bo Camper, Geisler, Batters. Here's Dan Johnson's helmet with the David Overstreet memorial on it. Silver anniversary helmets. And then here's Bob Baumhauer helmet. Tons more Dolphin jerseys. Then here's a stadium chair. Down here is the, the turf that the Dolphins used in 1972. A lot of people tore up their knees, I guess, and they, they had to take it back out and cut it into one-foot squares and sold them. Here's some nice seat cushions. The one on the right is from 1966. Uh, both of these are pretty rare. It looks like it's brand new. And then the middle one, of course, season charter holder. I believe that's 66. And then the Super Bowl. Paul Langford, number 44. And then down here, Houston Oilers, jersey, helmet, San Diego, Detroit Lions, stuttered Denver Broncos helmet. And then here, here's the Rams. This is a lamp helmet. It's one of the first ones when they switched over to the blue and yellow in 72, 73. These horns were painted yellow. They didn't use the stickers. Here's a Max Pro Rams that has the, it's a clear shell with the yellow horns underneath the shell, the plastic. And then just a regular Rams helmet from the 80s. And then here's a 1962, uh, I think it's Les Josephson. Couldn't find anybody that really wore it back then. He must have wore it a little bit later, maybe practice. And uh, the pants are Harold Jackson's from the 70s. The helmet is just a repo, reproduction from, from that era. And then up here is all the great Rams jerseys and helmets. Les Josephson. Great Doreen jersey, 19, 1966. Game-worn Rams helmet with the fearsome foursome autographed. Marlon McKeever back there, the blue jersey, 86. And then another Les Josephson, 1971, with the rubberized numbers. And then Marlon McKeever, 86, white, the mesh. Another, Le another Les Josephson with the 1969 patch. Up here, game-worn Rams helmet. Uh, the middle one was a high school in 58 from Ohio. And then another game-worn Rams helmet. And then here's the best one, 1964 Husky Rams helmet. Absolutely beautiful. What a great helmet. And then here's a nice jersey. I had to color match everything with the blue and yellow. This is Dan's jersey that he wore at Pitt. Helmet's not real, just a repo and his face mask and put a ton of stickers awards on it. And then here, uh, this is a towel that he gave uh, a bus driver. And I've got it photo matched. Pretty cool. You can see that on Getty Images. And then actually I forgot over here I have his uh, high top, Marino's high top cleats. And he wore, or is it Adidas? And then here's the low top ones that he had there. So I got the low and the high. I'm not, I've never seen any other ones that are out there. And then over here, some more jerseys. Neil O'Donnell. I love the Pittsburgh colors. This might be one of my favorite uniforms of all time. The Bengals.
What a gorgeous uniform. I love the black and white. Chicago Bears, long sleeve. Uh, the helmet's just a helmet lamp. Um, those are hard to find, the white C. Raiders. Uh, the jersey's just a team issued, cheap jersey, but what I liked about it was the mesh nameplate on the back. Helmet's real, number 95. That came from Heritage. Pittsburgh Steelers, long, long sleeve, 1969. I got to put the patch back on there. The patch was taken off. Steelers helmet, Chiefs. Super Bowl trophy, Super Bowl seven. I've got to get Super Bowl uh, eight now. And then here's the Packers, 1961 Packers jersey, uh, 40. That came from Heritage Auctions. Packers game worn helmet. Great Jets jersey, wise. Helmets from 2000s, I think. Nice mesh jersey, Oliver. Uh, early early 80s Eagles. Then back here, love the old Leroy Kelly look. Uh, white Doreen jersey, Ernest Biner, early 80s. 69, Jim Kanicki with the long sleeves. Then over here is all uh, Jason Taylor, uh, Zach Thomas, Ricky Williams cleats. All down here is all Ricky's. The black, black ones in the center, those are actually his Texas that I forgot I even had. I didn't even know I had those. And here, here's a suit, the black suit. That's what came out of Ricky's locker when his agent didn't pay for it in Miami. And then I'm the owner of the <laughs> Ricky Williams wedding dress. The prior guy, I think, has such a hard time displaying it. In here, I got Scott Schwedes, Schwedes uh, alumni jacket, Dwight Stevenson. And then over here is uh, Marino's jacket that he wore on CBS. Has his name embroidered inside it. Pretty cool. And then over here is my Dolphin, uh, well, big display case. In here, Tony Nathan, Clayton, Alfred Dahl Duper, Figueroa, Stevenson, and then the cleats, except for those middle ones in front of Alfredo, those are his cleats. All the rest are Marinos. And then Kuchenberg, Wayne, uh, Rusty Chambers back there, Shula, Dan Marino, his uh, practice jersey, David Overstreet. And then here's one that's interesting. This is this is Bob Greasy's warm-up jacket and stirrups. And, oh no, actually I'm not sure if those were his stirrups, but it's his jacket, his uh, face mask, and his chin strap. Those I got from a guy that was on a team back in the early 70s. Really cool. It's all Doreen. Down here, Baumhauer, Roby. And here's the undefeated banner. I have the 72-73 undefeated banner with photo matched that hung in the stadium in the south end of the Orange Bowl after the Dolphins went undefeated. Um, I've had this for a long time. And down here, uh, and that's actually pro this is actually probably my, my best item. And down here, Dan's jersey. Uh, wore this in 85 versus KC. And then, not his helmet, silver anniversary helmet. Some old pair of socks. Hugh Green's, Hugh Green's dolphin jacket. Here's a flag that hung in, hung in Joe Robbie. And then over here, Lewis Oliver, the silver anniversary season. Mark Clayton, team issued. This came out of Julian's auctions. They had a bunch of lots a number of years ago. Offer Dog, Clayton, Duper. Brian Cox. All right, this is this is actually Brian Cox's helmet that came out of that auction. Over here, Kozlowski, who was one of my favorite players. Hugh Green. And this one. This is a purple Mark Duper rookie jersey. Uh, story on this one. It's actually Orchid. Uh, one of my buddies who worked for the Rochester Red Wings, who was the Orioles farm club, where we were, the, we were the farm club with them, uh, he hooked up with the Dolphins when they were down 
in Florida. They traded some jerseys and he got this. And then they went to a Bills game when it was cool out. One of his friends, one of his wife's friends took it. She wore it at the game and then she took it home and said she'd wash it before she gave it back to him and washed it with some pur purple corduroy pants. And now it's an orchid, an orchid Mark Duper rookie jersey. Wonderful. And then here are the Vikings. Uh, number 63, Doreen from the 60s. Uh, repo hel reproduction helmet at the top. Vikings helmet. This one was, the helmet's from the late 70s, but the face mask was just put on later on. Uh, I always loved the white face mask. I think they, they would have worn probably gray back then. Another Dolph, or a Vikings helmet. This one, 1962. 1962 Vikings helmet painted horns on it. Down here, number 61 with the NFL, NFL patch on it. Number 66, Giants, game worn jersey, Dolphins uh, equipment bag, Vikings equipment bag. And I think I covered everything. Maybe not my G.I. Joes. I'm old enough that I collected G.I. Joes in the early 60s. I have to put those in here. This room is not that big. I think there's about 70, there's about 70 mannequins in here. But this flag, the flag is absolutely beautiful. I've always struggled on trying to display it. It's four foot by eight foot. So you need a whole wall. Oh, I forgot down here is uh, Dan's pants, game worn. And the emblem, the dolphin emblem, that's actually a, a giant flag that hung in Soldier Field that they took down when they renovated it. I think it's like 14, 12 feet by 18 feet. Pretty tough to display it. I think I'm getting to the end. I don't need too many more items. One item I'm actually looking for is my A.J. Dewey jersey that I sold back in 2008 that I haven't seen who has it. I can't believe I haven't come across it. Well, I think everything, I think everything was pretty much covered. Oh, these jerseys. I forgot. I got a bunch more Dolphin jerseys right here. Fleming, Brophy, Hampton, Fry, Carter, Woody Bennett, one of the Blackwoods, Newman, Batters, Toes, Tays, another Brophy, Foster, Newman, uh, can't see, oh, Mike Charles, another Foster, well, Ron Davenport, 86. 1986, rather. Mark Denard. Another Davenport. Uh, another Blackwood. No, Pete Johnson. And who's the last one? Brian Soche. And then over here, Don McNeil. Well, I got the helmet on there. I don't want to take that off. Oh, this one. I forgot about this. This is uh, Marlon Briscoe's helmet, number 86. Early 70s. And then here's Silver Anniversary. Here's an old equipment bag. Pretty sharp. 
Lorenzo Hampton. Tons of socks. Here's an autographed bite ball that uh, the 84 team signed. Everybody from 84 is on her. Marino, Jim Johnson, Moore, Harris. Oh, those are two other jerseys I sold that I want back. Moore and Harris. <laughs> Just about out of room. I think I got room for maybe one or two more <laughs> items. And I refuse to put any of this stuff in another room. Well, I think that's about it. Oh, one more. Super Bowl. This hung in. Here's a banner I have on the ceiling. Super Bowl 19, we should have won. I honestly thought we were going to win, too, when I was young. If someone would have told me in 1973, when I was in high school, that my Knicks and my Dolphins just won two of the last three championships, and if someone would have told me that now I'm 65, that my, neither one of my teams will ever win again, I would have I would have bet my future 401k on it. So since 1973, the Knicks and the Dolphins pretty much haven't even come close to winning anything. Unbelievable. Well, that's it.